And we are live. Welcome back with Murphy Mac to another episode of the Fitness Beginner Podcast, where we help you get started on your fitness journey. What's up, folks? Hope you all are having a blessed day today. If you're listening to the car, if you're listening in the car, put your seatbelt on, enjoy your ride to work, have a great day today. But if you're just tuning in, we are officially two weeks out from my bodybuilding show, and I'm looking forward to it. I have... Never felt this exhausted in my life. <laughs> I really hadn't. It's been rough, but we're getting through it. We're pushing through, doing cardio each and every day, getting my workouts in, hitting my meals to a T. I'm not missing. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep y'all updated on the prep and on the show for sure. But we got an interesting topic for y'all. And I think I've kind of covered an episode like this before or we've touched on it before. But today's podcast topic is we're going to talk about being intimidated by public gyms and why you shouldn't be intimidated and why you should go anyways and kind of how some tips and tricks on how you can overcome that fear and the reason I thought of this podcast is because my cousin actually came over today after work to to lift in my gym because I have a little garage gym so he came over to lift and he was talking about he wanted to start working out he wanted to start going to the gym but he didn't really know where to start he didn't know what to do where to begin all that. So that's what we're going to cover. That's what sparked my interest for today's podcast. So we're going to cover that today. And I'm just going to give you all some, some pointers on uh, where to begin, why you should go, why you shouldn't go. I mean, not why you shouldn't go, but why you should go, even if you're kind of intimidated or scared or you're nervous, you don't really know what to do. But let's be real. It's not as scary as y'all think. I think y'all are just scared to actually go to the gym. I don't think y'all are actually scared of the gym. Um, so yeah. Gyms make it super, super easy to learn how to work out with all the machines and equipment that they have in there. So some common fears are just when you don't know what to do, you don't know what exercises to do, you don't you don't know how many reps to do, you don't know how much weight to do. And yeah, this can be kind of intimidating because there's a lot. But honestly, just to keep things super, super basic, super simple when you're first starting out is literally just do full body workouts three days a week and do three sets of 10. Like that's a good, easy, basic place to start. Do three sets of 10 each exercise, full body workout. It's pretty simple. Use the machines that they have in the gym. Just go down the line, hit all the machines, and it should work pretty much your whole body. It's not, you don't have to make it super complicated. The, what, the best way to think about it is right now you're not doing anything. You're not working out. You're not doing anything. So anything that you do extra, your body is going to learn and adapt from. It's going to grow from it because it's more than what you're doing now. So like if you're not, if you're not working out at all and you go just do some very basic workouts, light weights, things that's more than what you're doing now so it's going to help you it's going to work and that's where i would say you should start you should start super super basic super super simple and don't try to make it too complicated that way your body can start learning and adapting from that so yeah that's just that's where that's where you need to begin so why are public gyms why public gyms are not as intimidating as you think they are well it's because the, there's a common perception versus the actual reality of public gym so many people imagine gyms are places filled with experts, big jack, swole dudes who are probably going to judge them for what they're doing in the gym. Well, that can't be the furthest from the truth. Yeah, you're going to have your big jack, swole dudes in there every now and then. But let's be honest, 99% of people that are in a gym are not big jack, swole dudes. There's not that many big jack, swole dudes uh, in the gym. Like there's just not that because there's not that many of them. But there's a lot of just normal, everyday, average people that like to work out that's in the gym. And they're not that intimidating. So there's gyms are very di diverse. There's all kinds of people. Men, women, old, young, different job job levels, different backgrounds. I mean, there's all kinds of people. that Because there's no, like, fitness is for everybody. There's not certain types of people that it's for. So you're going to get a little bit of everything. You're going to get overweight people, underweight people, old people, young people, kids, everything in between. They're all going to be in there. So... There's no need to be intimidated. It's just like going to Walmart. The same people you see in Walmart are going to be the people that's in the gym. Like, there's just a variety of people. And another thing is people think that they're getting judged, that people's watching you, looking at what you're doing, making fun of you, judging you. But that is furthest from the truth because, let's be honest, when people are in the gym, they only focus on themselves. They got their headphones in. They're listening to music. They're worried about what they got to do with their own workout because, honestly, they probably don't want to be there just as much as you don't want to be there. So they're trying to get in and get out as quick as they can. They, uh, they're they working out hard, hopefully doing what they're supposed to do. 
So they're trying to catch their own breath in between and trying to rest in between each set. So they don't have time to sit there and see what other people are doing. So when you think people are looking at you, when you think people are watching you, odds are they're not. Let's just be real. They're probably not. And even if they, if you do catch somebody looking at you, they're probably just glancing at you because you're out in public. You know, you're, they're just making their rounds, walking around, looking at whatever. You know, they're probably not actually like staring at you and judging you. I know a lot of people think this way, but it's not necessarily the truth. I mean, yeah, every now and then you may get a bad sour apple in there that may be making fun of you, but hey, who cares? You're in there to get better, to work on yourself, to lose weight, to build muscle, whatever it is you're trying to do. So like, who cares what other people think about you? Like, you doing you. Worry about yourself. Don't worry about nobody else. And honestly, that's what everybody else in there is doing. So another misconception is the gym is a very supportive environment. It really is. Like, people are not making fun of people and putting people down. Everybody at the gym, most of the time, 99% of the time, are encouraging. They're willing to help. They want to help. Um, they're just supportive. Most people in there are supportive. They're not looking to tear people down. Everybody in there is on the same mission. Everybody has a common goal. Everybody is in there to improve themselves. Everybody is in there. Everybody in there is on their own journey, whether that's building muscle, whether that's losing weight, whether they're training for a certain event, a certain race, a bodybuilding show. Like everybody in there is on a mission. They're on a goal. So it's very supportive. People are very willing to help. If you ever have a question, just ask somebody. Also, if you're scared to ask another person there, ask one of the gym staff. Most staff are trained to assist new people, newcomers, beginners. They're there to spot you. They're here to, there to help you out, especially if your gym has personal trainers. You can definitely ask them, ask them questions. They would love to help you out. Just don't be scared to do it. They're there to help people feel more comfortable, to feel like they're a part of the gym. So take advantage of that. Why you should go to the gym, even if you're scared or intimidated by the gym. Well, you got to overcome that initial hurdle. So when you first uh, when you first start visiting the gym, this is when it's going to be the hardest. But it gets easier each time you go. The more you go, the better you get. The more comfortable you feel. The more you realize that people are not paying attention to you. They're doing their own thing. You got to push through that initial discomfort, and this is going to lead to long term benefits. I mean, this is. Same thing applies for everything in your life. When you first started something, you're not going to be good. It takes time, it takes practice, it takes reps, repetitions over and over and over again for you to get better. Same thing with overcoming that fear. Like you keep going. I promise you, you go to the gym for a month, you'll no longer be worried about people in the gym. Because by the time you probably done made some friends, you probably done talked to some people, you realize that it's not as scary of a situation as you think. Over time, you will build confidence. So the more you go, the more confident you'll become. And using the equipment, using the space, like any free spaces, doing extra little workouts in it, the more you use that stuff, the more you learn about fitness, the more confident you'll become. And the more you'll start experimenting with other types of exercises, other workouts, the more you'll start experimenting with some new workout styles, things like that. So confidence in the gym often translates to other areas of your life as well. You start becoming more confident at work, more confident at home, in your marriage, wherever. And then you should go anyway so that you can achieve your fitness goals because that's why you're in there. You're in there to achieve whatever that goal is. So public gyms offer a variety of equipment and classes that can help you reach your fitness goals faster. So access to a range of resources that you might not have at home. So gyms have the classes, they have the equipment you're not going to be able to use at home. So these are all going to be things that help you achieve your fitness goals. So that's why you should go anyways, because they have the building blocks that you need to get to where you want to be. So now we're going to move into how can you feel more comfortable and fit in at the gym? Well, first and foremost, you want to start with a plan. So have a workout plan before you go to the gym. So this way you don't feel lost. And if you don't know where, where to get a workout plan, go to Google, type in your, your age, um, Type in your sex, your age, and what kind of workout you're trying to do, like what your goal is, and just type in workout after, and plenty of workouts will come up. Or what you can do, go to ChatGBT or whatever AI you use and type in, give me a workout plan for so-and-so, so-and-so. Say I'm, we'll use me for example. Say I'm 25-year-old, 25-year-old male trying to build muscle in a public gym. Give me a workout that I can do three days a week. Literally type that in, AI. Boom, it'll spit out something for you and literally just follow it. Start with a plan. That's, have that before you go to the gym. That way you're not just in the gym running around like a chicken with your head cut off, not knowing what you're trying to do. If you're really lost, 
consider hiring a personal trainer for your first few sessions or few months, whatever, and they can really help you. They can set you on the right track. They can help you with your form, your technique, which is very important. They can make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. So start with a plan. That's number one. Number two, wear comfortable clothing. Obviously, you want to wear some kind of af- athletic wear, uh, wear workout gear, makes you feel comfortable, makes you look good. Feel You always hear the saying, look good, feel good, play good. Same thing goes to the gym. Get you some nice little workout clothes. If you ain't got any, just wear a t-shirt and shorts. It really don't matter. Wear whatever you like in there. Wear your favorite shoes in there. Make you look stylish. I mean, if if that's if that's your thing, like if you like fashion, do it. If but honestly, in the gym, functionality matters more in the gym because you're gonna be sweating, you're probably gonna be tearing your clothes up a little bit because you're doing pretty active things, physical things. So if you don't want to mess up your designer clothes, you may not want to wear that in there. Wear something that's comfortable. A lot of people wear tight fitting clothes in the gym. And then some people are complete opposite. Some people like to wear loose fitting clothes. That's up to you. Whatever you like to wear. I like to wear tank tops just because it gets hot and you're sweating. Tank tops and shorts. That's what I wear pretty much every day. Just keep it simple. You ain't got to do nothing crazy. Wear what you like. Wear something comfortable. Next, learn the basics. So research or watch YouTube videos, which is what I do, on how to use the gym equipment before going. Or on each gym equipment, they have little diagrams and descriptions telling you exactly how to do it and what to do, what muscles they work, reps, sets, things like that. You can do how the machine works, how to adjust the weight. It'll tell you all that. So learn it as you go. And like the more and more you go, the more you use it, the more you'll understand how it works and how it can benefit you. So, or some gyms will offer orientation sessions where they'll take you around the gym. They'll show you the different equipment that they offer. They'll show you how to use them. Again, you can ask a personal trainer, ask somebody in the gym, ask somebody near you how to use a certain piece of equipment or a certain machine if you don't know how to use it. So yeah, just learn the basics, like what you're trying to do. Um, and this comes with time. Like you're not going to go into the gym and know this from day one. You don't need to know it from day one. But just try to learn them as you go. I mean, and you will, just by using them, you'll learn a lot of, about them. But try to do a little research too in your own time on different styles of working out, different equipment that you can use, things like that. Things that help you with your specific goal, whatever that may be. Another little hack you can do to make you feel comfortable and fit in is you can go when it's not peak time, like not peak hours. So don't go right after work at five o'clock because that's probably when the gym's going to be the most packed or in the morning before work, it's going to be the most packed if you can. I mean, everybody's schedule is going to be a little different and that's going to depend a lot on when you go. But visit the gym during off peak hours when it's less crowded. Then you got to worry about being in people's way. You got to worry about people watching you, people staring, none of that. Go during the middle of the day when everybody else is at work and this will help you out a lot. Um, it's easier to get comfortable when the gym is quiet. When it's quieter, uh, there's not as much racket going on. Not as many people in there. You just you feel it's it's more lighthearted in there, and you ain't got to be so uptight. You ain't worried about so many people in there at a time. So that's a good thing to do. That's a nice little hack. Is either go during the middle of the day, go super late at night, or super early in the morning, whenever. Just not when it's peak hours. Another thing you can do. To help you feel more comfortable is bring a friend. Bring your workout buddy. This is huge. Going with a friend can make the experience so much less intimidating. It can give you somebody to talk to, somebody to chit-chat with, uh, get your mind off the workout, what you're doing. Y'all can just have a good time in between each set. So having a workout buddy, it can also keep you motivated. Y'all can push each other, challenge each other, try to beat each other, uh, do more weights than each other, do more reps, challenge each other, like have a little competitions between y'all two. And this can be good for both of y'all to help push y'all Keep y'all going. Keep y'all motivated. And it's, it's a lot easier to go suffer, in quotations, when you have somebody there suffering with you, to do it with you. It makes it that much easier. So bring you a friend. That's a good little hack as well to make you feel more comfortable in the gym. So some ways of how not to be intimidated. Number one, focus on yourself. Remember that everyone was a beginner at some point and focus on your own progress, not on what others are doing. I always like to say, everybody's life is like a book. So that big swole jack dude, he may be on chapter 10 in his, in his fitness journey. Well, guess what? If you're just starting out, if you're a beginner, you're still on chapter 1. So you can't compare your chapter 1 to his chapter 10. You can't compare him because y'all ain't on the same chapter. So he started at chapter 1 just like you did. He started in the same exact place that you started at. So why are you going to compare yourself to him now when he's on chapter 10 and you're on chapter 1? So that's why I like to, a little demonstration I like to use. Just focus on yourself. Focus on your own goals and what you're doing and that, Remember that everybody was a beginner at one point. Everybody had to learn. Everybody was in the same situation you're in. 
everybody went through the same struggles, probably had the same thoughts that you're thinking, and they just kept doing it and didn't quit, and now they're where they're at now. So you just got to do the same thing. Also, positive self-talk. Encourage yourself with positive affirmations. Remind yourself of the reasons that you're going to the gym. Why are you there? Are you there to lose weight? Are you there to fit in your favorite pair of jeans? Are you there for a certain event you have coming up? You have a wedding coming up. You got pictures, vacation coming up. You got a, a challenge with your friend who can lose the most weight. I don't know, whatever it is. Self-talk, positive self-talk. Hype yourself up. Remind yourself. Encourage yourself. You're there. Positive affirmations. Motivate yourself. Do these things. Another way not to be intimidated, ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask the gym staff or others for help. I'm telling you, the people in there would love to help you out, especially the people that are seasoned, that know what they're doing, they've been there for a long time. You may think, oh, that I'm bothering them. They don't want to help me. They got their headphones in. They're trying to work out. That's not the case. People that are fitness people that do this for a living, or not for a living, but like do this for a long time, they're always willing to help. They like to help people. Help people. And honestly, when you ask them, it, it kind of boosts their ego a little bit because you they feel like they're the expert like because you ask them a question about how to do something. So then that makes them feel good. So I highly encourage you to ask them. I, if you're in the gym and you see me, don't be afraid to ask me something. I'll answer it to the best of my ability. I'd love to help you out if I can. Most people are more than willing to assist you with whatever equipment or exercise you have a question on. Or if you need a spot, ask somebody for a spot. Don't, don't try to get under a bar that you may or may not be able to do. As for a spot, people will help you. It don't take 30 seconds to a minute. Like, it's not that hard. So just ask for help. Don't be intimidated by people. Most people are actually very willing and, and want to help you if they can. And the last reason, just remember your why. Remember why you're there. Keep your fitness goals in mind. Every visit is a step closer to a healthier and stronger you. So remember, every time you go, you're getting one step closer, 1% better each and every day closer to that goal, whatever that goal may be. It may not even be a fitness goal. It may be a career goal, but fitness is a stepping stone to getting you there, to getting you that next raise, that next promotion, or to helping out with whatever health problem you have going on. It's one step closer to a healthier and stronger you. So remember why you're there. So yeah, that's pretty much my gist for public gyms. Don't be scared of the gym. It's not as intimidating as, as it seems. It really not. You will get comfortable if you just keep going. You'll get better over time, and that fear will go away. The benefits of going to the gym far outweigh the fears of going to the gym, I promise. It just takes a little bit of time to, to realize that, to see it. So I encourage you, take your first step. Visit that gym. Visit a gym. Go to a different gym if you have to. Uh, even if you just take a tour. Take a tour. It may make you feel better about it. It may make you feel comfortable. Have somebody walk you around explaining the different machines and what all they have to offer. So yeah, that's pretty much what I got for you. If you have any other questions about public gyms, please hit me up. DM me, Murphy Mac Fit on all social medias. Thank y'all for listening. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any podcast topics you want me to cover, hit me up, let me know. If you hadn't yet, subscribe to the podcast on YouTube, the Fitness Beginner Podcast. Also, leave a review, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you're listening at, I'd really appreciate it. Also, two episodes ago, I think it was 107 updated podcast and the, the audio was kind of weird on it and it messed up. The editing part messed up. So if you listen to that and you thought and you, you quit listening to it because it was messed up, well, I re-uploaded it. So go back and listen to that one. It's two episodes ago. One episode, 107, I believe it was. I re-uploaded the audio for it. So it should, it should sound better. So go back and re-listen to that episode. Uh, if you missed out on that, I, that's a good one and you don't want to miss it. Hopefully last episode updated correctly. We'll see. We'll double check it and make sure it's on there right. But yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. We will see y'all next week. Next week we'll be one week out from the show. One week out. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be an awesome experience. I'm ready to get it over with so I can eat some real food, eat some junk food. I want to eat some sweets. I haven't ate anything off my meal plan in like six months. So it's been a long journey, uh, but I'm ready for it to be over with at this point. But yeah, we're going to hop on next week, provide some more value for y'all. But until then, y'all have a great week, great rest of your day. Go get 1% better. Achieve something today that you've been wanting to do. I love y'all. Hope y'all have a great day. Peace, love, protein. We out.